Hello. So I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an update on the garden. Um, it's still not like in full swing, but I'm very excited of how it's looking. And let me show you why. So on this side, we already have this garden nice and prepped. Um, I I put a whole new bag of soil and I already planted some seeds over here. So I went ahead and planted some peas over here. Um, we did some rosemary this way, a bunch of chives. I've heard chives, you should only do it in a pot, but as I do with everything, I just trial and error. So there they are right over here. Right here, I did two to three rows of marigolds. Um, just because, I don't know, I had the seeds. And then all this row over here, it's going to be uh, basil. Then I did a bunch of cilantro everywhere. And so cilantro is all over right here. And then parsley again, a few rows of parsley. So it's going to be nothing but herbs, just things that I constantly use except for the basil. But I still always plant it just because I always say I'm going to make pesto and I never do. Um, I'm not going to reseed my pot of mint because if you guys see, it's still coming up. <laughs> Sitka has water bowls, okay? Just don't think that he's struggling and doesn't have any water. He has a good life. Anyways. We did an experiment. We pruned our peach tree and I don't know how I felt about just throwing away the branches and I went ahead and potted two of the branches. They actually budded and the flowers came out. I took off the little um, buds and flowers just because I want the tree to focus on um, making roots. But I'm so excited. If this does turn out, then I'll have another uh, peach tree two actually let me show you what the other one looks like um look how it looks it's doing good so far i mean we'll see the leaves are getting bigger i didn't put any root hormone on it i just grabbed the branch the next day and shoved it in the ground and we'll see what happens i really like this variety of peach it's a um Dave Wilson O'Henry peach, and it's so delicious. Not only is it super pretty, but it's super delicious. So that's my experiment. We'll see how that goes. Strawberries are in full um, swing. They're doing their thing. Um, we had a volunteer um, lettuce that just came out of nowhere, and it's doing its thing. We've been eating on it, and so I'm like, great, that's a good lettuce. Um, and then on, oh, we found a conifer in one of the garden beds. So we just went ahead and planted it in a little container. Um, and we'll just keep on growing it just to see what happens. Anyways, on this side, I uh, have my blueberry that I've never had. Last year, I gave a lot of blueberries. And all of these are going to be blueberries, the little buds. So I'm excited about that one. And on this side, we started a compost pile. As I've told you guys a million times, sorry, I sound like a broken record. We do have an ice cream shop, so we have a ton of like fruit scraps and whatnot. Um, usually a ton of like cucumber, pineapple, cantaloupe, strawberries, um, just like the basic fruits. And so I decided just to start a compost pile. I have a lot of um, greens and nitrogen so i'm trying my best to add more carbon to it um but again as i do everything trial and error we'll see what happens hopefully it turns out good but a little bit more update on that later just because i don't know really what i'm doing yet and i don't want to be giving you false information on that so that's that let me show you over here hurry hurry hurry, hurry. we went ahead and moved our apple tree on this side but weird thing, I went ahead and transplanted it. It's still alive. I know because I've been scratching the tree and it shows me green, watch. You see that? That's how you know it's still alive. So I know it's alive, but when I transplanted it, I was expecting to have like a reasonable size um, root ball and there was nothing. It was just the stick or like the tree and like probably like this much of roots um nothing really attached to the tree so i don't know what's going on because my father-in-law had told us like we might have a gopher um 
because let me show you let me walk you guys on this side i just washed my shoes <laughs> remember um we've moved the garden beds that way or maybe i didn't even say but we moved our garden beds this way because we don't get a lot of sunlight right here um it's probably like about to be 2 p.m and it's not getting a lot of sunlight or maybe it's already getting shade from the afternoon so we thought that way is going to be a better option for us again trial and error over here that's how we do it so um we'll see what we do on this side later on maybe a fire pit or whatnot the goal is maybe putting two more garden beds over here so that'll be exciting we move things this way but over here we had a stella cherry we had uh, something else we had a lemon and then later on we added the um the apple tree right over here both the stella and the lemon that was like closer on this side died when we took out the both the trees that one was there and one was here a um there was like really no rhubarb so our theory is that maybe we have a gopher that keeps munching on those because um these two trees the oh Hen oh henry peach and i think it's a mission fig yeah it's a mission fig so both the fig um the peach and the fig as well as the rest of the trees were water the same um they had about the same care so it just seems weird that these didn't die if it was a water issue um and there was no root ball when we took them out so i uh, maybe it, it was a gopher that got to them um we went ahead and pruned the peach and the fig when there was some fencing being fixed on this side um one of the branches broke so we just had to like re prune it and then try to get better shape on that um but we'll see what happens i still haven't decided what we're doing on these garden beds um but we have some seedlings inside growing so that's exciting but yep so far that's how it looks so i went ahead and planted the whole back one full row of corn to be specific it is uh, sweet corn bur burpees triple crown by color i did one full row this way and then another one semi row right here then the rest it is in front of it what did i just do what did i do i did multiple things hold on let me get my thoughts i did something else no and this is why we record. Did I only do the carrots? I think so. Yes, I did. Yes, only carrots. Ay, ay, ay. So, corn, two rows, and then the rest all scattered from that big onion this way in between um, the scarlet, um, scarlet nante, nan, nantes, nantes? I don't know, guys. That one carrot i did all of that right here from here this way i didn't realize how tiny these seeds are it's crazy so i kind of want these strawberries to go crazy and form like a little patch um so that's the plan i'm not really doing anything in front of that i think i might do like a little bit of lettuce over here and then beets or no beets because they get taller so no but then the strawberries they're short i don't know i don't know i'm just kind of like thinking on what to do because i what i always do i put taller things in front of shorter things and then next thing you know obviously the shorter things don't get any sun and they suffer so i'm debating <sighs> The, the camera's reflection is making Cody, I think, there's like a little light in the fence and he, uh, he hates those. So, yeah, he's that's what he's trying to work at. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's that update on that. 
and I want to use the space, but I just don't know how yet. Ooh. All right, finally done. I went ahead and I just cleaned up the whole concrete and then make sure everything was watered down. I ended up <laughs> going ahead and um, still planting the beets over here and then lettuce all over right here, like a few rows. And if I didn't mention the reason why I chopped the onion tops is because I really want to try the onion top pesto that be Becky from uh, One Acre Homestead posted and I really want to try it. And plus, honestly, I know these onions, I'm just waiting for them for the seeds. So I just want them to do their thing on that. I went ahead and tidied up all the tools, um, all my little tomato cages and poles and whatnot. I went ahead and cleaned that up. And yeah, we are done in the garden today. So I am done for right now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> hope you can see my uh, sunblock. Where's sunblock, you guys? Um, <laughs> I went ahead and finished everything that I wanted to get done today, which is exciting. Again, this is just an encouragement of like, just go ahead and do it. Um, go out in the garden and go ahead and plant it. You'll learn for next season. You'll learn your mistakes and then you'll just re... Um, You'll learn from your mistakes and then you'll just know where to put things next year or what, how to do it better. Um, and I really just hope you guys get encouraged and try it out. And that is so far today. Thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.